What's happening, peoples? Uh, all right, so it's uh, the end of February, uh, and uh, as you can see, we're still knee deep in bloody snow. For the past three, four days, it's just snowed constantly. And here's the thing, it warmed up actually for a little bit, and then the snow melted, and then, of course, it got below uh, the minuses, after that and then it just turned into a bloody ice rink the whole of Sapporo um, but now it's uh, it snowed a lot so at least we've got some traction which is good uh, anyway so in this video guys I'm going to take you along with me to uh, a supermarket here in Hokkaido right now it's going to be interesting in two fronts uh, one uh, it is a supermarket in Japan and because Japan is going through a bit of a recession right now uh, it'll be interesting to see the price comparison um, so I mean when I first arrived in Japan I think the rate was about 150 yen for a pound uh, and two years ago it dropped 120 yen for a pound and now from 120 uh, it's skyrocketed to 200 yen uh, well almost 200 yen at 190 yen uh, for every pound which is incredible. It's, uh, it's, it's good for you folks if you're coming from the UK or from, from the States over into Japan, you get a lot more bang for your buck or pound. Um, but for us, it's a bit of a, uh, an issue if you're working and living here in Japan. We've seen a little bit of a price increase. And so, yeah, that's the situation we're in. Uh, I'm gonna go around, I'll show you uh, the items and give you a little price comparison. I think that'll be, that'll be good to see. Uh, and also, because it being Hokkaido, there will be some items available in this supermarket uh, that are not available in supermarkets outside of uh, Hokkaido. Uh, Hokkaido is really prized for a number of things, in fact, one of which is uh, its dairy products. Uh, so your milk, your cheese, uh, very Hokkaido specific stuff. Sure, there's, a, there's uh, other bits and bobs as well. So uh, yeah, let's go take a look and find out what we have. Okay, straight off the bat, let's go to the, uh, the fruit and vegetable section. Japan is known for its uh, lucratively priced fruits, uh, but all within good reason as well, because they're actually fruit squared. It's that delicious. They're, it's unbelievable uh, that it's actually fruit. <laughs> it tastes like candy. Strawberries are 140 yen. Look how bright they look. They look like toys, don't they? A lemon, 140 yen. Hey, I. Hey, I'm in the uh, supermarket right now. Would you like anything? Sliced cheese. Okay, that's, that's a good call. All right. Text me if you need anything, or at least put it on the list. All right, thanks, bye. Right, onions. So we got this pack, 430 yen. But we've got like a bento section over here. This section is a real treat on an evening because, well, they have a lot of items that are half priced I uh, love you, your, your fried stuff, your croquettes and that. And uh, yeah, once you, once you pick them up at half price, it's very difficult to pay full, full price. Uh, but yeah, I, I love this corner. I used to, used to actually just eat from this corner when I first came to Japan. On an evening, I'd, I'd come to the supermarket and just pick up as many hanguk, is what they call the half priced items as I could. And that did me. I'd spend like about 700 yen and, and every day for food, and that was it. Okay, sushi section. Freshest sushi of the day. I'm 
I've never actually seen them prepare sushi before. Ah, Hinamatsuri, so on 3rd of March is the, uh, the festival for, for girls here in Japan. We've got a whole section here dedicated to, to kimchi. It's a lot of kimchi. And here, this corner, we have our fish section. The, uh, the sashimi section as well. So you get a big block of, of raw fish. It's good quality fish as well. Not the cheapest, so. This is tuna. And this block is 2,000 yen, which is just over 10 quid. Then you have a whole section here dedicated to, to sashimi. Look how pretty this looks. Yeah. Um, yeah, so before we proceed onto the next aisle, uh, this is the ramen section. So you've got various different flavors of ramen. You've got some Hokkaido specific stuff here as well. In fact, uh, I remember I sent uh, some packets of ramen over to her mum from here. Because again, that location specific. So look, see here, this is Sapporo specific ramen. Again, Sapporo specific. That's at 400 yen, just over two pounds. Okay, we have spicy miso, and uh, we also have shio, which is salt ramen, and then we have regular miso at the bottom. I think I'll pick a packet of spicy miso. Section, yeah, this should be interesting, because as we know, Japan is prized for its beef, wagyu, so wa means Japanese, basically, and gyu is, is meat, hence wagyu to get an idea of some of the costs here. So this one, 3,000 yen for 220 grams. So you can see how, how marbled it is. So this is good quality shabu shabu, uh, thinly sliced beef. It's got a nice steak here, look at the size of this. So this is 5,400 yen, this, this steak. It's 360 grams. I think it, probably about 28 pounds, I guess. More fillets at the bottom here. So, a wide selection of chicken. We don't get our chicken from here, in We get it just further ahead, the frozen section. I suppose this is a lot more fresher. And we get the imported one, I'll show you why in a second as well. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, look, I don't know if you've already started begin noticing. Uh, there's a lot of uh, Hokkaido uh, sign, signage on some of these items and they indicate they are the locally produced or, or bought really. Um, and this is very expensive, like this small fillet is 865 yen. And that's uh, how many grams? 161 grams, bloody hell. There's some expensive chicken. These brightly little red and yellow stickers uh, indicate a discount. And yeah, my eye is immediately drawn to them. Like this is a 10%. Sometimes it goes as low as, uh, as 50%. Those are lots of uh, some more beef here, more steak. I'm not sure if this is local beef or imported. Yeah, with, with that price tag, it's certainly local. Six and a half thousand yen, and it's frozen, Jesus. Okay, right, yeah, so here, look, we got the, the lamb. This is Hokkaido only. Uh, you can see the Hokkaido symbol right there. Uh, and they really make a big deal, uh, like, uh, make, go out the way to put that bloody icon, the map, silhouette, everywhere. 
So we've got pieces of lamb here. We've got Genghis Khan. Let's see what we have. So we've got... It's otaru, right? Yeah, otaru. A roast Genghis Khan, three pieces. That's a thousand. 200 yen, almost. Okay, and this is where we get our chicken from. Uh, and if you notice, it's 1,500 yen, two kilograms. And check this, it's halal. So most of the chicken I have found here in Hokkaido is imported from Brazil. And that goes for a lot of restaurants as well. Not always, but most of them. Right, um, let's figure out a game plan here. Okay, let's go down the dairy aisle, check out the cheese. You need to get some cheese slices, uh, and then we'll just go uh, to the noodle section, I think, and then we'll get out of here. Can't be faffing about here all day, can we? All right, let's get an estimate of how much cheese costs, I suppose. This is your, your 600 grams basic uh, grated cheese, and that's 861 yen. I needed to get cheese slices. Uh, some 351 yen for seven slices. That's quite expensive. We got this last time, so let's try this this time. It's always good to try something new. So Hokkaido. Tokaiji, cream cheese, I guess, cheese paste. Same thing, right? Right? Cheese paste. Some Hokkaido cheese here. 580 yen. What sort of cheese is there, I wonder? Hmm. Here we go. Some more Hokkaido cheese. That before. A little bit overpriced, but it was good. Now, mozzarella is something that I really love, but it's very expensive here in Japan. I've, I've been used to paying like 50p from, um, from Lidl <laughs> back in the UK. And even across Europe. It's been like one euro, I think. And here, it's 365 yen. That's, what, just two pound? The section always changes whatever uh, they've decided to put on display for that day, week. So today we have normal cheese. Last time we had lots of mozzarella on here. Let's go this way around. Plain yogurt. And this is Hokkaido specific. The naughty stuff, and then we'll look at it on occasions. All right, here we have our gut health. Now, as you can see, so overwhelming, and uh, pretty much, uh, they're all pretty much the same, I guess. And yeah, if gut health is your goal, like it is mine for this month, this is your section. Now, I normally just get the, the bio, the Danone bio. And then also some, some Yakult, except that it's not Yakult, it's the cheap version of Yakult, because Yakult is bloody daylight robbery. 560 yen, 16 yen for that. And then for half the price you get, you get this, which is pretty much similar, if not the same. Yeah, so 200 yen for the basic note here. 235 yen for this. These are the more, most popular milk cartons. Uh, but we, we really enjoy drinking our milk and we like to try something new all the time. So here we have a wide selection of, of milk and most of this milk is, if not all, Hokkaido specific. Right? Uh, this is what we used to buy all the time. This was our go-to milk until we started uh, just experimenting and trying 
uh, just working our way through them. 750 m. I've not messed with this, I'm not that bougie. Not yet. Uh, this was really good. This is really nice. Yamanaka, dirty farm. All right, so that's the fake bread section. Again, don't mess with that. Ah, okay, dangashi. So this is um, the children's treat section. Now, all right, I think we'll save that to the end. That, that is probably gonna require a separate with it video in itself, to be honest. There's going to be just so many things I'd like to go through and show you guys, but yeah, we'll do an express stroll in a moment. Ah, the noodle section is also something that will be cool to show you. Now look at this. <gasps> this section here is your yakisoba bento, Hokkaido specific uh, instant noodles on the way uh, to Hokkaido when you first came on the ferry. The they sold it at the, uh, the vending machine there, inside the ferry. Um, so I tend to stay away from noodles. They're just, they're just really unhealthy, filled with preservatives and what have you. Um, but, like, I got so tempted by this aisle, <laughs> just always looking at it and going down it, that I dedicated yeah, a whole day just to trying noodles, and that satisfied me. So after that day, yeah, I mean, I can look. But it, the, the, that, that temptation is not there, again, as, as much as it was. And what they say, satisfaction is the death of desire. <laughs> so, yeah, as good as it looks, I'm not really that tempted anymore. I'll tell you what though, this is bloody banging. Yeah, I love this, it's spicy. Very spicy, in fact, in fact, I'll pick one up. I'll be a rare treat. Since, of course, moving in with, I, I moving in with me, should I say, um, I have got a better understanding of what some of these products are, as opposed to when I first would stroll around the supermarket. I wouldn't have had a clue. It's just Japanese kanji everywhere. So this is actually new. I think, you know what, I'm going to try this. Yakisoba bento. It's a new flavor, yakitori flavor, wow. What we're working with, uh, these are the ones I usually buy. Uh, 350 yen, so just uh, uh, two pound actually, a little bit under. Uh, the cheapest ones are 300 yen. We have the premium section here. Jesus, that's what, 650 yen for a dozen of eggs here. Hokkaido specific. All right. Uh, GoPro battery just died a moment ago. I think we've got all that we we needed. I'll go through the sweet section in a moment and then that's it. We'll get out of here. This is the sweet section. A uh, whole area dedicated to children's snacks. Now, if you notice, like this centerpiece here, it's very traditional looking and there's a reason behind it. It's because once these shops, these dagashi shops, this is what they call these snacks, dagashi. These dagashi ya, so dagashi shop, ya means shop, um, were typically run by elderly folk and they had a very strong culture tradition behind it. Children would go, uh, get their money, buy the sweets from these, from these dagashi ya uh, shops and then sit in the park and eat the sweets and stuff. But like now that is pretty much non-existent because well, it's all just situated in a, under one big corporate roof, right? Um, but yeah, like, again, uh, when me and I went to Kansai just recently, we went to the huge warehouse where you could buy these items in bulk. And it, it really brought back some memories for some people. I mean, some of these suites have been in, um, in existence for years. Like even when I's parents were young. So yeah, this whole section dedicated to nothing but candy, children's sweets. I mean, just thinking of uh, coming here on Eid day as a children, this would have been Christmas. Well, no, it would have been Eid, not Christmas, but you get the point. 
Um, but yeah, we, we would have been super excited, man. I know part of my local uh, news agent grocery store would uh, go to, to, the, to the big city, Manchester, the night before Eid and pick up lots of sweets and then bring it back and, you know, we'd, we'd run, rush to his shop straight after Eid, pray on the mornings and we'd be, you know, greeted with so many different varieties of sweets and, and even that, like, that was golden. So imagine, like, coming to a place like this on Eid. Yeah, we'd have loved it. Still love it, actually. I still could get carried away, as I did in, in Kansai. Uh, okay, right. Uh, I've got everything that I need. And now I'm going to pay for this and then go over to get my coffee, which is a highlight in itself because the place I get my coffee from, it's this international kind of store that sells, um, uh, amongst coffee, other things that are internationally sourced and imported in. So it's called Kaldi and it's actually inside this same supermarket. And then also maybe get some bread as well. Packet of Doritos, 88 yen. It's about 50p. Kit Kat. Let's see what Kit Kat flavors they have. So of course you've got your green tea Kit Kat. That's a Japan special as, as we all know. Orange. And then this one's, this one's uh, actually something recent that I've seen. It's uh, matcha with, uh, with yeah, normal chocolate. Hi, Tama. It's kind of weird, so they scan it for you and then you have to come to a separate section and then pay for it. Oh. That was a time when bloody paying for, for stuff at the self checkout was a challenge in itself. I'm not going to lie, it still is sometimes, but I've made progress. So everything managed to fit in my bag apart from this instant noodle box. So I'm just walking around with it in hand. They don't give you a bag un unless you actually ask for it, scan for it and pay it. Okay, coffee. There's also the naughty section. While we're here, just uh, compare some of the prices of alcohol. That's a bottle of Smirnoff, 1,400 yen. It's one thing that's ridiculously cheap in Japan. Even look, Bombay Sapphire, 1,800 yen. That's 10 pound, 10 pound for a bottle of Bombay Sapphire gin. Jack Daniels, 2,300 yen. Oh, but mate, it doesn't stop there. Now this, that's four liters of whiskey, 3,000 yen. You'll kill yourself. Four liters of 40% whiskey. I mean, 37%, but geez. And then you got this huge aisle dedicated to nothing but Japanese Nihonshu, which what we would call in the West, sake. And this is like a Japan's potato vodka shochu. So this is the local fishmonger, and this is the premium sushi here. That looks amazing, doesn't it? Toro. This is Kaldi. This is where I get my coffee from uh, every other week. Look forward to it so much. Uh, it's actually a real treat because they've got so many different varieties. I mean, I do have my safe options, which I know I'm going to like. But me and I also like to experiment here and there. Anyway, uh, this is an international store. Uh, they don't just specialize in coffee. They also do imported goods from other countries. And get a lot of things from here. Uh, not only that, you can get some tea as well. We've got a wide selection of tea. Uh, and so, yeah, it's a, it's a real fun, fun day out, I suppose. We're giving out free coffee as well. So whenever you come here, they've got um, people handing out free coffee. Come with me and let's check it out. All right, guys, so this is Kaldi.
This is my favorite. Sometimes get it when it's on offer. It's amazing. Just want to get distracted onto the coffee. So this is the holy grail, guys. One thing about it, all the color is they don't use this is just for display, right? So they're not using these actual beans. Um, so they're not they're not stale. The beans are freshly uh, roasted like within the within the two or three days and then they're freshly grinded as you order them and we've got many different varieties and flavors depending on your palate what you prefer i'm more of a, a deep roast rich espresso type person and they have just the thing for me the espresso blend uh, you also sometimes get the italian roast which is good these two are the ones that, that are my go-to's without fail but then i also experiment here and there with something new and the thing about caldis as well is that every season they have they have like a unique blend for that season the christmas world was to die for but they finished that now of course well now they've got uh, the spring blend here which i don't know doesn't seem to be for me because as you can see it's quite light and so i'm gonna give that a miss i think all right what shall we have then no ne i know この jewelry blend はどうですかね Koi desu ka? Okay. Hai. Mm, yarimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. 4 ban de kudasai. 4 ban de kudasai. Okay, so I've gone for the jewelry blend. And you can also request um, what size you want the beans to be. And there's a little scale on the back of the packets. And uh, ah, hai. Hai. Ewa jewelry blend o hitotsu desu ne. Hai. Hai, 4 ban giki de goyou itashimasu. ペーペー大丈夫ですか？ペーペー。ペーペーお使いいただけないですか？あほんま。四番引きで。ありがとうございます。はい。あ大丈夫。はい。わかりました。はいありがとうございます。Bit of a quaffle there. They didn't accept ペーペー。I'm starting to use that. Well, I'm trying to go cashless because I lost my my wallet over the the Christmas holidays and so my Aim is to go as cashless as possible, so uh, I'm just trying to use this thing called Pepe that I's parents recommended, and, and well, they don't bloody accept it, so that didn't go very well. No, anyway, um, but yeah, I dealt with that, and I'm gonna head off home. So yeah, I might pick up some bread in bed. But right behind me is another one of Hokkaido's gems. It's called Donguri, and as far as I'm aware, it's only here in Hokkaido. They do everything from croissants and uh, to, uh, to cakes to donuts. It's even fried chicken, <laughs> believe it or not, and everything is cooked on site, baked on site. And uh, for me, this is the place where we come to, me and I, uh, for our bread. So we get our bread from here, our bread rolls. Uh, and yeah, it's just fantastic. You can't get any fresher than this, uh, especially if you come at nine o'clock in the morning when they're just opening up the store. Oh, the, the whole supermarket is filled with this smell. Anyway, Donguri, if you're in Hokkaido, you need to come to Donguri. It's magic. This is quite nice. Yeah, this is where we get our bread from. This is the good stuff, freshly baked on site. And look how tempting this stuff is out right here. <gasps> that looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <gasps> look at that. These croissants are to die for. Konnichiwa. Ah, so this is one. One more, please. Thank you very much. Right, jobs are good. In I've got my stuff. Uh, now let's get out of here.
Okay guys, so just got done from the uh, the supermarket and now I am walking home. So uh, yeah, got a few things that I needed, some things that I didn't need. Uh, my backpack is completely filled to the brim. Uh, thanks for watching. I, I hope that gives you a good chance to, to do a little price comparison and see uh, how expensive things are in Japan right now, or how cheap I should say they are, certain things anyway. And uh, yeah, you got to see some uh, things that are only available in supermarkets here in Hokkaido. So with that, I should love you and leave you and see you in the next one. Peace out. Look at this man. Look at this.